Okay, so here's a tour of Ariel. <laughs> okay, so when I first open it up, I've got all my one strokes and my split cakes up in the lid. Normally, I would keep these over here, um, and I had a third fusion palette up underneath, but I, I honestly, I mostly buy the big one strokes because they last longer. There are certain palettes that I'll buy repeats of, um, but like these bigger one strokes that come in the palettes, I take them out and I magnetize them. Um, I just find that that works better for me, but I do like having all of these one strokes in the palette. A lot of people take them out and magnetize them too. It's kind of your preference, but that's what I like to do. Um, I also have like my line closed sign. Um, and then I have my design idea menu board. Um, and Wandi Perez made that for me and she's awesome. So then I've got my brushes. And then I've got all of my essential glitter balm. So this essential glitter balm stays right here. These right here, I actually move over to what will be the top because I like having um, a wall on both sides um, because then kids don't grab your case. They don't get in your stuff. So I have, you can see right here, like a large neodymium magnet. I covered it with the vinyl that matches. It's starting to peel, but um, I covered it with the vinyl that matches and I super glued it with E6000 right there. So then I, so I'm trying to do this while I'm holding my phone. I pop that in right there and then kind of just make sure it's scooted close. Okay, so there's one wall and then my glitter bomb goes right there. And then I take my brushes and on the job, this all happens pretty fast, you know. Take my brushes and I set them right there, okay? So there's one side wall, and then kids don't get into my stuff. And then I take my other side wall, and I take that, and I put it right up here, okay? So you can see it's a little heavy, it starts to fall. That's where these lovely guys come into play. I got them from Dollar Tree. And you can order them off of Amazon too. So I put one of those up there, one down here, just to keep it secure because kids like to touch things all the time. And then I have one that I put over here to secure my brush one. And I usually have one right here too, but I think it's in the car. Um, okay, so this is how it looks mostly on the job. This is where I keep my coupons. Or not my coupons. Good gracious. I haven't had enough coffee yet. This is where I keep my stencils in a coupon folder. And I just open it up and I slide it right here. Um, before I had a different coupon wallet and I would keep it up here and keep it clipped into place. And I honestly really liked it. This guy is heavier and he zips and I like it better. I did like keeping it up here better. So do with that what you will. Um... And then right here, this is like my water reservoir, except I don't, I used to just put the water directly into here. I don't do that anymore. Um, I use mini plastic Dixie cups and I'll put one for dark water, one for white water, and then I put a stack of them right back here. So I've kept this thing in here because it's nice and it keeps me organized. It keeps my water from spilling all over the place in here. Um, I do not have a piece of metal underneath because... When you have the metal underneath on that side where your water is, it gets trapped up under the metal and it gets gross. So I took the metal out of this side. Um, I've got all of my fine glitters. Sometimes I have, oh, there's my other clip. Sometimes I have less, sometimes I have more, um, but I keep them all stored right there. And then what I'll do is I've got a couple of pumps. So I'll take the lids off the pumps and then I'll put the lids of these inside this pump lid and set it right here. And then I like to set them right here when I'm using them because it helps me keep them organized and they don't fall over and all of that stuff, right? Um, then I'll have cups over here. I've got a few like spare glitters and stuff for some other jobs that, I, that I've done. And then these don't have magnets on them yet. So I need to put magnets on them. Um, 
my DFX black and white, I'll just unscrew them and keep them right here because that's easier for me to keep them separate, be able to pick them up, you know, all the things. My water bottle um, and my towel. So my towel will hang on the front on the little handle right here. My water bottle, I'll either keep it over here or sometimes I'll put it over here. Um, it tends to move. So that's one thing that I do tend to lose quite easily because I just, I always put it somewhere different. These, um, ooh, that one came out. Where do you go? That's where you live. So these guys, I don't use as much solids. You know, I'm primarily a one stroke painter, um, but I do have quite a bit of solids um, that I do like to use. I use a lot of neons. I use a lot of reds and magentas and like blues and purples. Um, I like to have all the colors because I don't like to be unprepared. But I, um, so I got the idea to repot them into one stroke containers from Annalie Rivera. And that has been a total game changer because honestly, you don't need really, unless it's black and white, you don't need any more than that. And they're small. They stay in here. I have my metal surface down here that they magnetize to and it's magical. Um, I will on the job, like put this black up here and this white over here or something. This is my glycerin white and my glycerin black. So if I'm doing like, you know, black on the eyelids or um, like a black panther mask, uh, I'll black out the eyelids or something and then do my one stroke mask. Or this is my glycerin white for, you know, skulls and bases and stuff. Um, so that is my whole setup what it looks like all together when I am on the job. It keeps me super organized and I have to stay super organized because of my ADD, because if it's not, then I can't find my things. I always, I pretty much always put my brushes um, back in their same little spot. I don't typically have this giant body brush in there, um, but I haven't unpacked it from Ace yet. So um, I pretty much always keep them in the same spot. I do have a tendency to absentmindedly stick like a round brush down here and then I'm like, where the hell is it? I lost it. And that freaks my brain out. Um, these are my stencil brushes. They are mini flat top kabuki brushes. You can get them on Amazon. They're great for stencils. I love them so much better than finger daubers. Um, but I keep all my round brushes at the top, round brushes, liner brushes, petal brushes. And then at the bottom is um, angle brushes, flat brushes, and filbert brushes. And then like I have a blending brush, which I also use to apply fine glitter on small designs. And my uh, silicone brush for applying my essential glitter balm. And then I do have another little like mini angle brush hidden in here. I just don't use him very often. But I have several times on the job needed it and then been annoyed because I didn't have it. Hello. Um, so that is my kit. I do have spare magnets. I just couldn't find my um, duct tape on the job the other day um, to attach it to those. So I will be doing that today and also reapplying some of the duct tape on these because they're starting to fall off. Yes, I know I can use super glue on those, but guess what? Then you can't reuse those magnets and you know that I am the queen of thriftiness. So I'm not going to waste good magnets. I do have Q-tips in here. I don't typically do lipstick anymore just because it's annoying and all the things. And then I have my mirror on edge in here also, um, which I like using for line work, especially on hot sweaty days or if I'm doing lots of white line work on top of dark line, uh, dark like base. Um, and then these fusions, these aren't all fusions. Some of these are homemade one strokes, FYI. So like this, 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 those are all homemade. Um, what about over here? This one and this one, this one, this one. I think that's it. Those are all homemade as well. Um, and then they stopped selling the Annalie palette. This one is different from hers though. This I use for Pikachus and giraffes. So that's like a brown and yellow homemade. And then I made my 
Batman one homemade and I added more metallic blue to it than she usually does just because I like it. Um, but that is a tour. That's the grand tour of Ariel.